It gives us great pleasure to introduce the following dynamic duo. Each startup has its own story, but these guys are especially close to us. They're our hometown heroes in our community. That's right. So Yori was a founding member of Alto ES and an alumni from startup Sauna. And he was also one of the first interns that we sent out to Silicon Valley in 2011. He's also a massive coffee hipster. Uh, Karri, on the other hand, is a co-founder of Arctic Startup and of Rails Girls, a global movement helping girls take the leap into the tech world. Together, the guys founded Kipt, a knowledge management tool, and took it through Y Combinator last summer. So these two coffee aficionados have been complaining about our coffee situation ever since they got here, so please give a warm welcome, a welcome to Kari and Yori. Hello, everyone. Hey, uh, I'm Yori. This is uh, my friend, Kari, and also my co-founder. Yeah, oh. so like our title is Hacking Design and Not Dying. I think the not dying part is really good for today or this morning. Like if you are at the party, maybe you are feeling like dying. So like here's some tips not to die. And this is also pretty personal for us. Like last uh, yesterday, I was just, our service was down the most of the day, and I Kari made the designs for these slides, and I was just yeah, I was deep on the terminal. So yeah, startups <laughs> stuff happens. So like, what about dying? So. I think like usually startups are born dying. So like if you if you start anything, it's it's the like the default state that if it's an idea, like first it's an idea, it's nothing, like it's easy to forget or, or just like lose. And later on it's it's you need to get growth and like maybe money to keep the lights on or anyway get on. So like it's really like default state for startups. And like Paul Graham says that like if you can just avoid this, like avoid dying. Then, then you're pretty good. Like you can probably succeed because, like many startups, they just die out of like they lose motivation or they just fade away. They are not gonna get crushed. They just like forget to work on stuff. So this is our talk. A uh, little bit our story. Um, so like we were introduced that we are we are both Finnish and we've been working on several things and. Since like Jory has a little bit more like formal education than I do, but we both work on things that uh, we are self-learned or like self-taught on these things like design and development. And a lot of the things that we do or like ha have learned this is from the web and from other people. And that's how we got started with this app or like our startup, uh, because we wanted to find a like really good place where you can collect useful information and and also find this kind of useful information. So this, this was our problem. And actually, we didn't think, think this problem in this like, fancy way at the start. Like, we just built something which, which was missing from our lives. Yeah, and this all started actually a couple of years ago. It's just like one day hack project that we put together and put it out. And surprisingly, it's just one place to collect links. And that got, got us started on thinking how we could better uh, collect things and share them with uh, other people that we care about. Yeah, and then this happened. Like, uh, we just started on March, th uh, yeah, on March this year, and and we we started working on it full time, and then actually got accepted Y Combinator. And like, if you're wondering uh, what it feels like, yeah. it's like this. Uh, yeah, this so for just <laughs> five minutes of pure joy, and then it hits you like yeah. shit. We actually need to do something. <laughs> yeah. So so it was back to this. So like, uh, back to work. Uh, sitting on our, our sofas at our apartment uh, in San Francisco and, and working on, on like new stuff. And then we actually needed to think about how we are going to uh, build this company. Like, w we haven't done this before, so like, what kind of things should we do or not to do? And one of the things is that like, if you think startups are like, making something people want, uh, I, I always felt that design is the same way. That always when I'm designing something, I'm trying to design it for someone and, and make something that, that people would like to use or they find it useful. So kind of like having this design approach, it's, it's not that far away. It kind of sounds pretty solid approach. And but it's, there's, of course, problems. I think we saw great presentations today, this morning, about design. But in, in startups, I, I think like 
many designers, myself included, like we try to like aim for the perfect uh, solution, but it's it's hard to do with startups because the, you don't know about the problems. So startups are mainly like about finding the right problems and then solving them somehow. Uh, so you need to balance that. So like it's more about speed of finding the right problems and getting getting traction than than like finding the exact right colors or like the right solution for your product. And this this also like like with same thing with like fighter pilot pilots or like planes that if you stall it's really easy to die. So it's the same with startups that if you don't if you spend too much time on like designing something for like a year or like six months, it's easy to die during that time because you are not doing basically anything for your customers or users. So it's better like just like keep on going all the time and make new stuff. And we don't really have that like fancy process for this. Basically we are this is our company on the stage. So like if the stage burns we are like company is dead, but hopefully it doesn't burn. Uh, so we just think about what kind of things we should do for our users or customers. Uh, I design something, and we, then we'll talk about it. Or, and you usually argue quite a lot, but that's part of the process. Yeah. So like when the when the fighting is over, yeah. we can actually like build it and and ship it, and that's that's the most important part to get it out there. And you shouldn't spend that much time on, on things that like we, we try to spend like days or weeks or, on something and, and try to get them like try to build the thing and, and get it out there to users to actually use. That way you learn and find out about these problems. And people actually love this, like when you're shipping stuff all the time, like they know that you're moving and new new things are coming. So Yeah. So like if you want to make a point of this is I think like for startups, the best design is is design that is shipped. Like, there's no product in the history that is awesome uh, that was not shipped. Like, everything, you need to put it out there, it doesn't exist. So, same with like design or, or building startup. It's better to do stuff than like think about it. And like, how do you know what you should build? Yeah, so we try to talk to our users quite a lot. And this is also something that we didn't plan out. It just came to us. Actually, can you go? forward. So we put out a simple feedback form to our site. It's like probably the best design decision that we have made today because people actually use it and we get emails to our personal inboxes from this and people tell about their problems and we can start interacting then with our own names, with our own email signatures and today only one person has actually called me back. So yeah. So like we really try really to like talk with the people. And it's also a great way of learning about your customers or, or your early users. And I think like every one of them, like they have a story. They have like they have their own life. They 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 work on different kinds of things. They they use it in different 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 places. And that's a really good way of like if you talk with them, you learn about them. And uh, there's some cool stories like there's we, we know some teachers that use our product to with their class and they help like all the like the students can like collaborate on the materials that they use for the class, and and there's also some like researchers that uh, I was talking with that I was asking them like how how could we help them better and like how should we sell them things, and they actually told us like they had a really like detailed like email about like what are the steps that like how do you sell to these people, so like these like your customers or users can really help you if you, if you let them, and the other part you should let them help you otherwise too. Yeah, so we're both hackers in a way, so we like to use products that we can modify to our needs uh, the best. And from pretty early on, like our users were asking uh, uh, API, which is an interface for them to build stuff uh, or interact or programmatically with our app. So we built that and actually people have been uh, coming out with new, new stuff and now we actually have uh, mobile apps and uh, even desktop apps for pretty much all the major platforms. And this is all made by our users as they want to use our product on their specific context. And it's been really inspiring to see what they come up with. It's like there's uh, implementations in these apps that we haven't never thought of. And like we're actually getting ideas back from that and getting, getting that into our uh, core app. Yeah. 
So it's not about the apps, also the ideas that we can learn, like how would they like design our app? That's pretty cool. Um, and, and also, it's it's really fine for us if you make money with our product. That like there, there's like, this uh, Mac OS X client that just came out. Uh, it's it's been now been the top crossing app in the, in the news uh, Mac App Store, and and it's a paid app, so like, the developer actually makes money on, on our platform, and it's, it's fine. Like, it's great that if they do the work, they, they get paid. And we, we tr try our best to support them and, and promote these apps that they build. And we don't have any licenses or terms or pretty much anything. So yeah. like, we let people hack on the product and see what comes out. Yeah. And we are just two people, so uh, it helps us out quite a lot as well. Yeah, so like, giving like some pointers like let people like help you let them like hack your product if if you can uh, let them make money i don't know it depends on the business but in our business like i don't we don't care like you can build whatever you want and like ask money for it like if people pay it for it, it's great uh, and just generally like let let people help you and so sometimes they can even help you with other things like like business type of things like making introductions or like like finding out like how to sell to them or market things. So you, you can learn a lot with, with your customers or users if you actually talk to them. Um, and this has been pretty interesting for us as we've been like traveling quite a lot during the past uh, six months. So going to cities and actually like meeting the users who use our product and they've been like super helpful, like showing out to pet places. And it's, I think like it always boils down to being open and honest about what you're doing. We don't really like, uh, want to sh uh, shy on things on what's up next in the roadmap. We just like tell people and get the feedback already in that point. So Generally, we try to be nice guys, like nice, nice to the users and nice to everyone. Like, uh, and that's where people want to help you. So, so kind of wrap it up. Um, so design, it's, it's, there's a lot of things about design and like a lot of processes or different ways of doing it. But in, in, in startups, it's most of the time I feel like you need just to do things. And maybe your design is not the right one or the perfect one. You just do it anyway, and then you will find out. And then you don't like spend too much effort or time on something that doesn't work. And sometimes we need to remove things. So uh, it's, it's just life or like startup life. Um, the other thing, like just keep on going. Um, so you don't die, like, because like, it's very easy to die if you, if you just like, think about things and like, make some like, documents or like, I don't know, whatever, uh, which doesn't really like, make value for your customers. And like, generally, like, at least it works really well for us that like, we, we are open and like, let people help us. And we, we try to be nice, nice to the people. And so that was pretty much it. Like, I hope like, you get something out of this. We are going to be at the conference today, like hanging out here. So if you want to talk or like ask questions, or if you are a Kipt user, we are happy to talk with you about coffee or tea or, or I don't know, whatever, weather. Especially coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so, so thank you. Thanks. <laughs>